here is one. Are we going to let the uh, let the video right here? Maybe right before uh, you go into that, because there was a, I just saw a question that passed by that was kind of kind of oh. very important about the differences between you know the limitation on the business standard plus copilot versus business premium uh, plus copilot, uh, because everything with business premium and above does include the whole tenant, you know sensitivity labels for the whole tenant, any type of data that's accessible to the whole organization. Well, copilot has access to that, whereas with business standards, since it lacks all of those you know, organization-wide capabilities, it will only have access to files that are authored by you or meetings that you were involved in or emails that were sent to you or by you. So it will help you, but it will only have a limited view of the data versus you know, the whole tenant. Uh, so for example, if you didn't put in the employee handbook on your own OneDrive and you ask Copilot, how many weeks of vacations do I have in 2024? it will not be able to find it. But if you have business standard, a business premium or above, and somebody from HR put the handbook on a public folder on OneDrive, like a shared folder, you know, anyone in the organization type thing, and you ask Copilot that same question, it will tell you that you have three, four or five weeks or more if you're in Germany. <laughs> 